Hello and welcome to this AVLAN review of the Marantz SA11 S3 Super Audio CD player. We're going to talk to you about the features of this Super Audio CD player, look at the components that are inside it and show you how to set it up with your PC. It's been three years since Marantz last refreshed its high-end CD player and this is now its flagship product, the SA11 S3. The price has gone up as well, but in the UK that's reflected by the uh, high exchange rate to, with the yen. And, and I guess worldwide it's probably the same because uh, the, the yen being so strong. Uh, but the, the quality hasn't uh, been detracted at all. The, the, you know, if anything, the actual the build quality has gone up on this year's model. And the front fascia is still all metal and the whole chassis is copper plated. Uh, you can see here there are these lights which you can turn off um, on the sides uh, which give a very unique look um, and this this styling that was first seen on the uh, SA11 when it was first launched the, the, the S1 has now been copied across the whole Marantz range. Here you can see what the lights look like in the dark uh, but you can see you disable that and the display. Uh, the display although it's a low noise display uh, it uses LCD rather than a normal FL backlit display it still uh, can generate some noise so if, if you turn it off uh, you, you know, you will be getting the best sound quality from it. It has this big sheet of aluminium on the top. Uh, the side panels also aluminium, uh, so the whole thing, you know, is is very, very well put together. But that's what you'd think. Now we're going to take the lid off the SA11 S3 CD player and show you the components that are inside. So inside, on the right there, you can see the transformer, which is all copper plated. The whole chassis being copper plated. And here are the actual analog output boards. Um, you can see close up here that the main sort of uh, output capacitors as well uh, are absolutely uh, huge for what is, let's face it, just a CD player. Uh, you know, you, you, the population of the actual main circuit boards very high. Uh, you know, a lot of attention to detail. The transport there on the left is a lot different to the previous one. It's a new mechanism for this player. Uh, there, that's the actual high dam uh, output module amplification module. Um, that actually converts the output from the DAC into a line level signal. Uh, it's one of um, Marantz's trademarks, the high jump module. Uh, they, they put in all their sort of higher end CD players and of course they're copper plated. Uh, you can see there the big toroidal transformer that keeps all the noise in the transformer and doesn't you know, leak back out again onto the audio circuit so that's, that's why it's all separated off. Um, it's well bolted down as well to the chassis to stop any vibration. Uh, being so close to the CD mechanism, that's the last thing you'd want. Uh, but a, an amazing amount of different components for for this. But it, it is what you'd expect at the price. Uh, to have a lot under the lid, uh, you wouldn't want to open it up and see a lot of empty space. The actual mechanism itself is very smooth, opens very uh, cleanly. Um, spins up pretty quickly as well, so you don't have to wait too long. Uh, a lot, increasingly, a lot of the CD players on the market, the higher ones, are based around uh, DVD players rather than being from the you know, ground up a CD player. This leads to them having slightly longer start times. Here on the back panel, you can see it's got a lot of different inputs and outputs for a CD player. You've got balanced XLR outputs as well as uh, line level outputs. You've got optical and coaxial. Here are, the, here are the XLR outputs. They're the best connection to use if you can. If your amplifier has got XLR, that will give you the best signal. Uh, it's not just that the fact they're balanced. It's a higher voltage, a higher output, so less likely to get uh, interference on the way. And any interference being balanced as well is, is automatically cancelled out. It has uh, a coaxial and optical inputs, but the really important part of this is the USB input, because that allows this CD player to take much higher sample rates up to 192 kilohertz and 24 bit. Now we're going to show you how to set it up using the USB streaming feature of the SA11 S3. So setting it up with a computer you plug the USB into a computer plug it into the back and what will automatically pop up on your computer is that you know you've plugged something in uh, but it won't be able to find the drivers it needs the drivers installing which you can download from the Marantz website uh, and this is because uh, normal USB drivers tend to only go up to 96 kilohertz. If you want to do the 192 and you want it to be in synchronous, you do need to install third party drivers. It won't work as just a normal audio sound card uh, like you'd expect a USB sound card to do. 
it's fairly simple to, to install uh, but once you've done that you can just then just play music back from your computer however it'll be going through Windows uh, the Windows mixer uh, and that doesn't lead to the best sound quality because it's mixed it with all different things going on inside your computer uh, all the sort of noise that's in there so we recommend using a program called FUBAR 2000 FUBAR 2000 you can install uh, an add-on which I just showed you there uh, the WAS API uh, output and what this allows you to do is output directly uh, the the stream of, of audio from a WAV file or a FLAC file straight to the sound card. Um, I'd recommend getting the buffer length as low as possible unless you run into problems uh, I found that works the best and then you should be able to just play music back and output straight to the Marantz uh, with no degradation uh, and being asynchronous means there's no jitter between the computer and the player, it syncs it with the clock in, in the player I believe rather than uh, just sending the data and, and, and not relying on it getting there in a timely manner uh, can lead to jitter and therefore errors the synchronous output means it's, it's a, a much more stable signal so you can see it playing flak you can see it's, it'll run at a very very high bit rate uh, and, and no problems at all it, it just plays it's it's possibly the best way you can actually play music back uh, short of actually having a, a CD or an SACD. Now uh, pros and cons and, and, and what this actually sounds like. It's got a it, the sort of trademark sort of warm Marantz sound uh, but warm but not lacking in detail because it's got all those components in it because it's got the high quality transformer uh, and the high quality build quality when you put a disc in this and a CD in this it brings out uh, a level of uh, fidelity you wouldn't normally expect um, to hear. So you might you might go back through your CD collection uh, and play things in it and, and hear things you've never heard before. Uh, it, it brings out so much detail. Um, so it, it's it's a warm sound, but but not not a dull sound. It's not soft. Uh, it, it's detailed. It's crisp, as well as being you know not clinical, uh, which a, a lot of uh, Japanese players can be. It doesn't have that. It has the sort of uh, traditional Marantz sound. So if you if you've had a Marantz player before and you're used to the sound of that, you won't be disappointed with this. But the pros and cons. Uh, pros, I mean, it's astounding build quality. It's absolutely um, fantastic build quality. Uh, you, you, I, I don't think there's much much else like it in, in terms of design as well. It looks very appealing. It comes in, in the different finishes as well, and the the USB input is is now you know fairly is becoming a standard thing but the fact that it does up to 192 not all players on the market do a lot of them only do 96 kilohertz that's a very positive thing the mechanism is very good the the actual CD and SACD play, playback very good um, on the con side uh, it's it's USB front input can't play back lossless files it only plays back Windows Media Audio and MP3 um, that's a bit of a bit of a negative as far as I'm concerned. You can play back, plug an iPod into the front of it, although if you're spending this much money on a CD player I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, uh, this, the headphone output's very good on it as well, uh, so you could just use it standalone with a very good set of headphones. Uh, but con side, I think only the USB is the only real grumble I've got, and, and potentially also it's a shame it doesn't have a variable uh, output or the ability to select a variable output so you could connect a power amp straight to it would be, be quite neat because it's got those inputs you don't necessarily need a preamp but of course you do because it doesn't have a variable output so that's the, the two things on the con side but on the pro side far outweigh that it's you know one of the best if not the best CD player on the market at the moment. That's the end of our review of the Marantz SA11 S3. If you'd like to see more reviews or you'd like to purchase this unit please visit our website avlan.co.uk. You can also find more information on the specifications and features of this CD player. Thank you very much for watching.